90% of teams in the NFL who start 0-2 do not make the playoffs. Why in the hell would I believe that Dallas would be some exception? Why would I believe that? I know you got Sean Lee there who can play. I know you got Demarcus Lawrence there. I get it. I understand it. Randy Gregory, uh, we don't know about his eligibility. You know, I mean, we don't know whether he's going to be available. I don't think he's in trouble. He hasn't got suspended yet. The reports they're saying are erroneous as it pertains to an imminent suspension coming his way for yet another failed drug test. But we don't know. Here's what we do know. Dak Prescott has looked like a shell of himself over the last nine games. Barely passing for 200 yards half the time. Can't score more than 10 points, put him on the board. Last week, if that was any indication, Ezekiel Elliott, who rushed 24 and 21 times per game, respectively, over the first two years of his career. Last week, week one, he gets to carry the ball 15 times. When has that worked for the Dallas Cowboys? And then to really, really add insult, you've got somebody like Troy Aikman, a former three-time Super Bowl champion. Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman. A three-time Super Bowl champion with the Dallas Cowboys. He talks about it because he's not, it's not like he's sitting at home minding the Dallas Cowboys business. I mean, he has a job. He's a color analyst for Fox. He's calling the game with the great Joe Buck. He watches the Dallas Cowboys, sees a lack of innovation, a lack of creativity, very, very much predictable stuff that's relatively transparent. And he says, where's the ingenuity here? Where's the creativity here? And what is Stephen Jones' response? Stephen Jones, the executive VP for the Dallas Cowboys, who's only in that position because his daddy owns the team. Let's just call it what it is. And this dude has the gall, the unmitigated gall, the audacity to sit up there and say, quote, Troy Aikman is an armchair quarterback. Troy Aikman. Three-time Super Bowl champion, Troy Aikman. You have been nothing since he's left. Nothing. If anybody's qualified to comment about the Dallas Cowboys, since you've been irrelevant since he's departed, it would be him. I would remind America. I would remind the football world. Did you know that since Troy Aikman left the Dallas Cowboys, They've won two games in 25 years. Now, let's put that in its proper perspective. The last time the Dallas Cowboys were relevant, Bill Clinton was president en route to being impeached over the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Last time the Dallas Cowboys were relevant, my hairline was about three feet forward, and I had an afro comparable to Michael Jackson when he was young, not the perm when he got older. I'm talking about the afro. Okay? Last time the Dallas Cowboys were relevant, George W. Bush was a governor. I'm sorry, an owner of a baseball team, the Texas Rangers. Okay? Let's put this in its proper perspective. Last time the Dallas Cowboys were relevant, Mike Tyson was fighting. This is the truth. Last time Troy Aikman and the Dallas Cowboys were relevant, John Elway was still looking for his first Super Bowl ring. LeBron James wasn't even a teenager. Michael Jordan was still playing for Chicago, not the Wizards. There was no Dwayne Wade. There was no LeBron James. There was no Carmelo Anthony. Kobe Bryant hadn't even gotten drafted. He was in high school taking Brandy to the prom. And that was a year later. That was the last time the Cowboys were relevant and Tony, Troy Aikman was throwing darts to Michael Irvin and Emmett Smith, our very own Darren Woodson here at ESPN was a safety. This man delivers you not one, not two, but three Super Bowl rings. And you're Stephen Jones 
with your silver spoon wearing a relevant self? Go sit up there and call him an armchair quarterback. I got news for you, Stephen Jones. Troy Aikman, as an armchair quarterback, is better than anything you've ever had since you arrived in Dallas with your daddy. This is a fact, and it is undisputed. What the hell has Stephen Jones done to call Troy Aikman an armchair quarterback? Who the hell do you think you are, privileged one? Have you ever eaten from a spoon that wasn't silver? How about that question? This isn't Jerry Jones who said this. This is Stephen Jones, who is Mr. Irrelevant if it wasn't for his daddy. And who the hell do you think you are to talk about Troy Aikman like that?